Hey guys, it's Kip from Famous by Friday Pickleball. Got a brand new paddle to review, two paddles actually. Very excited about these paddles, but I'm gonna start off this video talking about something a little bit different that affects these paddles. I'm gonna talk about swing weight. Now, I've kind of been, I've not been too jazzed in the past about ever talking about swing weight for a couple of different reasons. Uh, one is it's very hard to measure the technology out there is kind of centered around tennis rackets. So the technology is not quite there to measure swing weight yet. Although the technology is getting better every day and you can adapt these things to get accurate numbers. The other reason is, and we all know this, if a lot of companies that are out there, if you order a paddle, you order the same paddle, the same exact paddle you order, two of them, they're gonna come in a little bit different. The balance is gonna be different. They're gonna play a little bit different. So I haven't really talked much about swing weight because it hasn't been an absolute. But Thrive, the maker of this paddle, or these paddles, the Thrive Rush 13 and the Thrive Threat 16 millimeter, Thrive is gonna do something a little bit different. Yes, they're gonna mention how much this paddle weighs, but they're going to go with swing weight. Now, why is that important? So swing weight measures how heavy the paddle feels when you swing it. Uh, it includes how heavy it is, uh, the balance point, the twist weight, how head heavy or head light. It includes a bunch of different kind of measurements to come up with how heavy the paddle feels. Thrive's doing something a little bit different. They are going with swing weight. Whereas they include their own lead tape. When you buy this paddle, they include their lead tape with it, these little three gram lead tape, and a card on the cover that gives their serial number, serial number of the paddle, the swing weight, the twist weight, the balance point, how head heavy it is, and obviously how much it weighs. So when you customize these paddles, if you take, take the weights and put them, and they actually have this on their website, depending on where you put them on the paddle, it will tell you how much it changes the twist weight and the swing weight. And if once you find how, where your happy place is or where you really like this paddle, every paddle, say it's a 120 swing weight, well then you can, Every time you order a paddle from Thrive, you can order a 120 swing weight. So it's absolutely the same paddle as you had before, you liked, you got used to, your game is perfect, and now you can order the same paddle again and you won't have to wonder, hey, will this play different or anything like that. I think it's a very cool idea. I think these paddles will play great. These paddles are pretty much same structural components that we've come to know and love. It's a poly, uh, polypropylene core, uh, 16 millimeter and a 13 millimeter. Torrey T700 carbon fiber surface. They're unibody, they're thermoform, they have foam around the perimeter. 16 and a half inches long by seven and a half inches wide. 5.3 inches long handle with a four and a quarter circumference. All of those are kind of known quantities. I'm anxious to see what kind of swing weight how it, how it differs on these paddles and what kind of swing weight might fit my game the most. Kind of new technology or new way to look at it, outside the box thinking, I really like it. Head to the courts right now with the Thrive Threat 16 millimeter and the Thrive Rush 13 millimeter. All right, guys, hope you're gonna be out there. You can hit these paddles with me, maybe play with a little lead tape and see what your ideal swing weight's gonna be. All right, I'll be back.
Hey guys, I'm back. Just spent the last few weeks with the new Thrive Threat 16 millimeter and the new Thrive Rush 13 millimeter. Like these paddles a lot. They do some great things. I kind of migrated initially toward the 16 millimeter version, the Threat. I, I, normally I play with 16 millimeter because it's a little bit more forgiving, a little more dwell time, a little softer maybe. And this paddle is, it does all those things, but I kind of, at the end, migrated toward the Rush 13 millimeter, because it, I really, it kind of fit my game a little bit more at the end. They're both really good paddles. They both do very good things. They're both very accurate. They're both very consistent. Both have nice power. The 16 millimeter had a little more power, but the swing weight on the 16 millimeter is a little higher at 118.94. The swing weight on the Rush 13 is at 117.49. I believe this is 7.8 ounces. The 16 millimeter is eight ounces. So either you would expect the power number to be a little bit higher on the 16 just because it's a little heavier and the swing weight's a little bit more. Both of these paddles have great spin. They both have nice feedback, nice feel, large sweet spots. Very solid paddles. You expect that from the you know, Torre T700 carbon fiber face, the thermoforming, the unibody, the foam injected perimeter. You, you expect all those things and all those things come through really nicely. These paddles do great. They just, I, either one of these that you choose just do really great things. In fact, at, at clinics or lessons or what, I, I handed both these paddles out and it was about half and half on who liked the Rush 13 millimeter and the Threat 16 millimeter. It was, it was half and half, but the distinction was not very great because both paddles do about the same thing and they're both really good at what they do. I think Thrive is really onto something here. I, I'll, I'll go back to my, my golf background where you get fitted for shafts on your golf clubs and the shafts are fitted you know, based upon your swing, um, how fast you swing, how flexible you are, they go by weight, flex, you know, kick point, torque. So you, you customize the golf shaft depending upon your personal swing and it gets the best out of what you do. I think Thrive is onto something here by, by customizing the swing weight based upon your game. I, I, when you go to golf tournaments, there's always the the trailers that pull up that customize you can always you go to golf shops whatever you can go there get your get your shafts and customize to your swing and I definitely recommend you do that it makes your game a lot better so thrive is onto something here as far as getting you the paddles you can see on this rush 13 that I actually put the weights on here that uh, that thrive provides they are a little bit below the three and nine o'clock positions but it really made this paddle come alive, come to life for me. Now, that means that I can tell Thrive this, tell exactly what I did, tell them what I want, and they can order me the exact swing weight as I found it with, this is to fit my game. I think, I think that's the coming thing. I, I think it could be then you'll never have to wonder. You'll never have to, you, once you find what's good for you, and it may change in time, but you can always adjust it off of that. It's a cool new idea. I'd love to hear from you guys whether you think this is the future of the game, where you're gonna go away from maybe the weight of the paddle to you're gonna order based on swing weight. And you're gonna find your swing weight kind of just through playing and spending more time. Now, finding the swing weight is not a perfect science. I think there's two or three different ways to do it and they're all based on tennis rackets. There may be new technology, so don't quote me on that. So I, I believe that swing weight is kind of going to come along and you're gonna hear about it more as it's easier and more exact to perform these calculations. This, this sport's still in infancy, it's still coming along. I think these things are going to happen, it just takes time. I'd love to hear from you guys whether you think swing weight is the way it's going to go. And 
if you've kind of ordered based on this before or you've kind of found out what your perfect swing weight is, I'd love to hear that. Love to hear if you tried these Thrive paddles also. They are both very good. Could they, either one of these paddles could go in my bag. I like both of these a lot. They really do, they're really nice to hit. And I love that outside the box thinking. The, the Thrive Rush 13 also comes in kind of a pink model with a pink edge guard, pink handle, and the T is pink. Uh, maybe even all the lettering is pink. It is really pretty. I would love to hear if you've tried any of these paddles, if you've hit them. I know a couple of pros that are playing with them now. It, it's just a cool new technology. And it's just, it, I love, like I said, out, outside the box thinking. So as always, hit like, hit subscribe. I'll be back with more new material very soon. Let me know if you've tried these. Let me know if you think swing weight is kind of where this is gonna go versus just weight of the paddle. Because it, it, I know it's a cool new thought. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Get out and play.